So I just finished uh, flipping her back up right again. There's uh, really not much to show for it because uh, most of what I did while she was bottom up is not really visible. The fillet's had to be laid in and uh, after looking at it and, uh, and thinking about it a little, I uh, decided to flip her over and uh, get easier access to it if she was bottom up. So it made it uh, easier to uh, sand off the overhang from the fiberglass cloth and also easier to uh, lay the fillets in. So as you know, she's a hybrid between uh, a white owl and a traditional Newfoundland uh, rod beast. From most of the pictures I've seen of uh, white owls on the internet, it uh, looks like their gunnels are finished off bright. But this one will have uh, painted gunnels. So I haven't decided yet uh, which color I'm going to uh, paint the gunnels. Uh, green is a traditional color for uh, Newfoundland rod beast, but uh, then so is gray. So maybe I'll just throw it out there and ask you to weigh in on it. Uh, tell me which you'd prefer, whether you'd prefer uh, green or gray. The hull is going to be painted white inside and out, but uh, she's going to be uh, trimmed with uh, gray. The midship floor structure is going to be gray. The aft floor is going to be gray. And the uh, forward cutty floor is going to be gray. I know I never got an awful lot accomplished this week. But uh, the weather is really getting hot now and humid, and it is uh, summertime, and I do have other pursuits. But even if she's uh, moving ahead slowly, uh, she's still moving ahead. So I'm going to call it a wrap for this week. So if you want to see what I did manage to get done this week, uh, stay tuned and uh, watch the upcoming video. And as always, thanks for watching. Well, I thought I was all finished with the steamer at least for this build, but turns out the top transom trim piece, which required an inch and a quarter edge set, forced me to break out the steamer one last time. After 40 minutes steaming away, it clamped in place and conformed to the shape of the mold, no problem. Well, with a 15 degree bevel on the back of the transom trim piece, it took away a bit from the thickness of it. So after 40 minutes in the steamer, it bent around the mold I had made for it, no problem. But after an hour and a half, when I released it, there was an awful lot of spring back. So I popped it back into the steamer again for another half hour and clamped it directly in place on the transom. So after a bit of a treatment with the heat gun to uh, make sure there was no moisture left in it, I took it off and clamped it back in place with thickened epoxy. So here it is, bonded in place, ready for the transom quarter brace pieces.
Well, I started to uh, sand the overhang off in preparation of laying in the fillet, but I decided that it would be a whole lot easier if she was flipped over. So I flipped her and got at it. So when this fillet is laid in on both sides and set up, I'll raise her higher so that I can work comfortably inside of her and uh, lay in the fillets on the bottom of the inside gunnels. I didn't record much of uh, the work that I did on the inside because the lighting is not great and as you can see there in one example that uh, when I did uh, try to uh, use some additional lighting it just uh, created uh, harsh shadows. Both laminations of the inner gunnel has been filleted and while she was bottom up it was the perfect time to uh, lay in fillets uh, on the bottom of the transom quarter braces as well as on the bottom of the breast of the 